So, what is it in our air that's so dangerous? To find out, I'm looking at a sample of typical British city air. In this box, I've got exactly one cubic metre of standard London air. Now, most of it is nitrogen and oxygen, but there is some pollution in there. These coloured balls represent the volume of each of them. At 200 parts per billion, there's just this much carbon monoxide, a highly toxic gas. There are 20 parts per billion of ozone. Up there, it does us a real favour, blocking UV lights. Down here, it's quite an irritant. There's just a tiny scrape of pollen, not strictly a pollutant, but enough to make life miserable for hay fever sufferers. None of these are good news, but across the UK, they are usually below safety levels. It's my final two pollutants that scientists are most worried about. First is a gas, nitrogen dioxide, that tends to be given off by vehicle exhausts. It's an irritant, it's a pollutant, and in there, there is just that much. And finally, particulate matter, basically soot particles to you and me. About half of one of these tiny balls, I'll drop that in. So that's it, the air that we breathe. Doesn't look too bad, but the thing is, those tiny amounts can really have quite a large effect. And you've got to bear in mind that, on average, each person breathes in 14 of these cubic metres. That's 14,000 litres of London air a day. And over a week, a month, a lifetime, those tiny amounts really start stacking up. 